so let's start this is lecture 5 solving od uh, same problems what topic i have solved in fourth one so on uh, based on same method we will solve some more questions uh, as i said that you don't have to practice anything separately whatever practice everything we will do here itself so sufficient amount of questions sufficient examples all the tricks and techniques we will discuss here so uh, still uh, we are we are solving ods and uh, first order and first degree and we are solving with method of variable separable so i have taken a very beautiful question dy by dx uh, y cos x 1 plus 2y square and this time this condition is given that at y 0 uh, value is 1 what what is the meaning of this this is the value of x it means at x is equal to 0 y becomes 1 so think and solve how will you separate the variable so uh, you can see y and 1 plus 2y square these two we can send left side with this dy and dx i can send here with cos x so this will be my format now after that this y i can split with this one and i can divide with 2y square so it will be like 1 by y plus 2y dy is equal to integration of cos x dx so this is a very simple format we got direct answer so we got our uh, uh, ln and 2 2 will get cancelled sin x plus c now in this equation c is a constant but because the initial value is given that uh, at x is equal to 0 y is equal to 1 so by using this we'll be finding out c value and then that c value we will further substitute in the general solution so it means this time we are looking for the particular solution using variable separable method so that's all almost like uh, same thing you have to do if uh, uh, they are giving initial value problem or uh, boundary value problems see if initial value is given so it will be given uh, like in, in real life, initial value means it will be given for very specific point. Okay, in the last, in the end, at x is equal to 0, x is equal to L, these kind of values will be given. But if wall conditions are given, then it can be anywhere. So currently just I was trying to give you some physical feel, but it's fine right now that nothing is required for this question. So uh, uh, in this equation, I'm substituting uh, y is equal to 1, so it is being ln y and then 1 here and uh, sine 0 so it will be 0 so c value i'm getting as 1 because ln 1 is also 0 so uh, back i'm going back and substituting c value here as 1 so this became my final solution now i have taken one more question dy by dx is equal to x square plus x square e power 3y now in this case you can see here x square and 3y they are together so idea is bring this x, x square right side and take x square separate so in the bracket you'll be having y term and x square separately then we can uh, separate the variable so from here what i'm saying this x square take this side so it will become like x square e power 3y minus x square then take x square common so it will be like e power 3y minus 1 so that e power minus 3y you can send with dy so i got this term and x square dx will be remaining there now here you have a very good trick and see guys uh, in differential equation where students are being confused they know the method even variable separable method is the easiest method and if question is coming on variable separable method you will be extremely lucky in gate exam that okay we got the direct question but there is a problem and the problem is when you are solving the variable separable method meanwhile definitely you have to integrate so while integrating you need some kind of tips and tricks so those tips and tricks whatever i am solving here uh, with that you learn but other than that i am advising you you go to class 11 12th and come solve complete integration problem okay whatever questions they have because in ncrt you have almost all the tricks what you are going to use in uh, upcoming uh, questions of gate exam because see tricks what we learn in our basic classes of 11th and 12th those tricks will help you like a backbone okay here i am i will be teaching you tricks of that particular question if the, the trick comes, then I will teach you. If that trick is not coming, then I cannot teach you the trick, right? So, means trick depends on the question. So, side by side, there are so many YouTube channels. There are so many uh, sources. You can practice your 12th class integration problem and solve completely. Okay, complete. And you can do very fast. Because in almost every question, you have tricks. You will see here that almost in every question, we know that it is based on variable separable. But still, after knowing the method, you will be getting stuck on the way because you don't know the trick. Now, see here, what is the trick? I am multiplying e power minus 3y, e power minus 3y, up and down, multiplied. And after that, see what I am trying to say here. This part, you can see, in this part, I am considering this total. You send this multiply inside, I'll change the color, yellow color. You send this inside so it will look like this 
when you multiply with e power 3y so it will become 1 and when you will multiply with 1 then it will become e power minus 3y then this bottom part you consider the denominator part you consider as t so when you will differentiate that then you will be getting actually the numerator part right so what was the catch here this multiplication is the catch here and these are like good questions i have collected so that's all then substitute the values here uh, this guy will become t i have written t here and this 3 you send down so dt by 3 1 by 3 right so this 1 by 3 ln t uh, this side will come easily right sided easy so finally uh, i have solved this and then rearrange all the left and right side properly so you'll be getting this part now in this part depends what kind of option they have generated in the gate exam you can rearrange your final answer uh, they may give final answer in terms of y like y is equal to something is there okay or ln y is equal to something is there or e power 3 y is equal to something is there so according to that you have to rearrange your answer so see when i integrated for the first time i got c as my coefficient i mean sorry constant now this e power 3 y you see here uh, 1 by 3 is here and 1 by 3 is here this 1 by 3 1 by 3 i am sending so now from here from here 3 i have taken and this became 3c so this 3c i am writing a new constant as c1 now uh, you may be you may be knowing this trick that if ln a is equal to b is written then here power is e so i can write a is equal to e power b this is a logarithmic trick formula so consider this as a and this total as b so i can write a is equal to e power b okay now further this plus is there right so in power if there is a plus it means product so i am splitting e power x cube separately e power c1 separately so now c1 was a constant so e power c1 will be a new constant for example suppose 2 is there so 2 is a constant so e power 2 is another constant you know e value right 2.7 something so it will be a new constant so now you can see this left side part i am writing how e power minus 3y is there so that i am taking down as e power 3y and then i am reshuffling this and i am sending e power 3y this side also okay so this was the final thing now i am giving you some special formats of variables separable questions special formats where directly x and y is not being separate but by using a small trick uh, we can separate the variable but we'll be getting a new variable and these kind of questions you can expect very easy only one time you remember see special formats of variable separable mostly this trick and this type uh, will come there is chance this trick you remember only one time and whenever you see x plus y uh, in these kind of questions x plus y you replace with that v so let x plus y is equal to v and then you see i'm taking a question x plus y square dy by dx is equal to a square you can also do this by yourself just pause the video and try to go ahead and then finally match the answer if unable to do just follow the solution x plus y is equal to v now differentiate this equation one time with respect to x so x will become 1 y will become dy by dx and v will become dv by dx so i got this expression now from this expression dy by dx value i can replace in my main question as dv by dx minus 1 so it, it became like this and wherever i have x plus y that i will replace as v so v square will come here because in the question x plus y square is there okay now next now see here you need to uh, split dv's separately and dx separately right so i need this bracket to be free right so for that case i sent this v square right side so a square by v square is there in right side now this dv by dx again i need this guy to be free so that i can split dv separately and dx separately so this one also you send right side so we'll be having this format now you can see dv and dx i can separate and fortunately in right side we have only v term so all the v term and dv i will collect in the left side like this and dx is here now again this without knowing the trick it will be difficult for you right the trick is either you go for uh, a partial fraction method or here itself you learn this trick uh, suppose it goes like this suppose you have x plus a okay and suppose here you have a and you want to integrate uh, x and you want to integrate this so simple trick is you add a and subtract a so this x plus a and x plus a will get cancelled will you will be getting one and then a by something so this is simply log format but if you have x square a square then x square is here then add 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 in that case tan inverse answer will come i mean for the integration you have some separate uh, list of formulas right so according to that formula we have to arrange uh, properties so if student is 
good in integration then there is huge chance student will not lose any question from ODE or PDE but if student is not very good in integration then student will be uh, really weak so I am considering that 11th and 12th class integration level you have very well if not then follow NCRT immediately now you can see here I have added a square and subtracted a square then this v square plus a square I will split uh, from here so uh, dv and dx here I have written that practice 12th class uh, NCRT so split one will come and then divide here a square by v square will come and dv now you can integrate this now when you will integrate so one will become v simple and uh, this a square I am writing as a square and you remember 1 by x square plus a square integration is 1 by a tan inverse x by a so according to that 1 by a tan inverse v by a will come and this side you have simply x and plus c constant I am adding from my side now this v value you can replace as x plus y so you will be getting x plus y a and sorry here I could not I forgot to replace here also x plus y will come so in the final answer I have written here x plus c so this became your final answer now i am showing you one more problem that problem you show you try to solve by yourself see here pause the video and solve the problem dy by dx sin x plus y cos x plus y this problem is again same x plus y x plus y so that you replace with v so pause and solve try to solve by yourself so x plus y is equal to v so differentiate this with respect to x same process dy by dx is equal to dv by dx you replace this back in the question these two data you replace back in the question so your question will become dv by dx minus 1 cos v and sin v now again this much is variable separable but after that even this question is very easy but student may not be able to do because of the lack of ideas of tricks and why are we are you weak in tricks because of the 12th class background is not very strong in your integration integration part so again go there and solve so you apply cos 2x formula cos 2x formula is 2 cos square minus 1 you apply sin 2x formula 2 sin x cos x see if angle is 2x then here x will come if angle is x then x by 2 will come if here angle is 2x then x and x will come but if here angle is only x then x by 2 x by 2 will come right so use this concept and substitute in the question so there was minus 1 I sent here this side okay that is fine as 1 now cos v and sin v is there so this cos v I will replace so 2 cos square v by 2 uh, uh, minus 1 will come so that minus 1 and this one will get cancelled so I don't have 1 here in this step 2 sin v by 2 cos v by 2 will come now again see every step every step you should how will you know that now what to do now what to do so it will uh, develop with practice so I have chosen very good questions so from here cos v by 2 and uh, sorry cos square v by 2 you take common so cos square v by 2 I am taking common so here 1 will come and here tan v by 2 will come because divide by cos v by 2 will come so it will become tan now you know whenever cos square and tan is there it is very good combination because that cos square I can convert into sec square and differentiation of tan x is sec square x so in future tan x I will consider as t so that will become sec square so sec square dt will come so I know the flow now so this cos square v by 2 I wrote as sec square v by 2 now this sec square term uh, left side because in left side you have dy by dx remaining and this down with dy by dx so it looks like this dx I sent with this side now this guy is behaving like ft and this guy behaving like f dash t so you know what is the answer ln of ft so directly ln of this was your f x plus c so this v again you replace with x plus y so this became your final answer we'll solve one very popular question a very popular question of this type is this is very popular question again in this question this x plus y x plus y x plus y x plus y minus a minus b plus a plus b dy by dx so x plus y you replace with v so same trick x uh, plus y you replace with v and then differentiate these two equations you put back in the uh, given question so it will become uh, v minus a and v minus b v plus a and uh, uh, v plus b now again I need this d by dx to be free right so first I will remove the left hand side I will send to the right side and I will do the calculation and this one also I don't want here because I need d by dx to split in future right so I need them separately so uh, I send this guy down like this guy came down and uh, then this one also came right side so I will do some calculation this will come so entire v part I will send left side after that so it will become 
with it will come with tv so it is easy for me to integrate now now two days will come you can see here this v square v a and this v square this a b and this v b so you take some common and after common you do division one step i have not written here explanation is very easy when you will divide you will be getting one here and remaining part will be remaining here okay now this part if you consider as t then automatically the upper part will come so because here you have v right so constant no problem this uh, b minus a is not a problem so this part some students may not be able to understand so i can show you how to do this see v square minus ab i am saying to consider as t so it will be like 2v is equal to dt so v is equal to so v is equal to dt by 2 okay so this v by a is constant don't look at that that constant let it be there itself and dt by 2 will come so that's why uh, this b minus a by 2 is coming here and this guy will become ln of t that t i will further uh, write as uh, v square minus ab and then 2dx i will uh, integrate as 2x plus c then that's all v values you sub uh, substitute everywhere and shuffle depends on uh, options how to arrange in gate exam what they are asking so end of this method now new method i will start in new lecture so this is our fifth lecture now let's meet in uh, sixth lecture